everyone, my name is Annie and today I am finally back with a new video on my channel. It's been a really long time since I uploaded my last video, so this almost feels like starting my booktube channel all over again. And I thought about my channel and I thought about my booktube experiences in the past and I decided to make some changes to my channel. So at first there's the new name. It's not Annie's Bookish World any longer, it's now Annie the Book Princess. And I chose that name because I wanted it to match my other bookish social media because Book Princess is also my name on Goodreads and it is the name of my Tumblr which I also kind of restarted recently and I have turned it into a book blog and I'm also doing um, photos and stuff and having so much fun. And yeah, and then I thought about booktube and I remember that I still have a booktube channel and I remember that I always had so much fun filming these videos and that I met some really great people here and yeah, I felt that I missed it. I missed making videos and I decided that I will start filming videos again so here I am. I won't upload videos regularly anymore and I won't take this whole booktube thing super seriously. I will just make a video now and then whenever I feel like it and whenever I have some random bookish topic to talk about and of course I'm happy for everyone who subscribes likes, maybe even leaves a nice comment because I love to get in touch with you guys and I love to talk about books with you and if you want to get in touch with me you can also check out my Goodreads profile and my Tumblr. I will link both these down below because I really love getting to know new bookish people and to meet all of you. Yeah, that was that. Those were the things that I wanted to talk about before I get into today's video. And for my first video in what feels like ages, I decided to do a book haul because I have been on vacation some time ago. It was the end of May and the beginning of June and it wasn't just any vacation because I've been to the US and some of you may know already that I'm from Germany so going to the US is kind of a big deal for me. It's not that easy to get there for me. The flight took 11 hours. That's not an opportunity I get all the time so of course I had to buy books over there. So to be more precise I've been to San Francisco and I went on vacation with my mom and we had such a great time. I loved San Francisco. The city was so beautiful and then we also rented a car and drove around some and uh, looked at the beautiful nature and stuff and visited some smaller villages and I enjoyed this whole vacation so much. I didn't want to leave and I already want to go back there because honestly it was such a great trip and like the best thing of course were all the books that I bought. I bought eight books in total and that might not seem much because I know there are people around here who do book hauls with like 20 or 30 books but I've never been a person who buys that many books at once. I've always been able to contain myself when I was in a bookstore and buy only like one or two or maybe three books. So so buying eight books in not even two weeks is really a lot for me. Those bookstores, they were like pulling me in and those books were like buying me with their pretty covers and their shiny titles and oh my god, okay, you get the idea. <laughs> so now I'm gonna stop rambling and get into my United States book haul. The first book I bought is one that was actually one of my most anticipated releases for 2018 and it is Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. I just fell in love with the cover when I saw it for the first time in Goodreads and I also loved the idea because it's this Viking themed YA fantasy book. So yeah, Sky in the Deep is about Elin and she's a girl from this one Viking warrior tribe and when she was a young girl her older brother was killed by the rival tribe and as long as she can think back their two tribes always have this big fight against uh, each other once a year. So um, when this year's fighting season comes on and Elin goes out on the battlefield and then suddenly she sees her brother and he's still alive but he's fighting for the enemy. So that's pretty much where the story takes off and this was also the first book that I knew I had to buy on my trip. The second book I bought is also one that I really hope to buy while in the US and it is The Defiant by Leslie Livingston which is the sequel to The Wayland and it's the second book in her trilogy. This is a historical fantasy which takes place in ancient Rome and is about female gladiators and since this is already the second book I can't tell you much about this without spoiling the first one but in general this trilogy is about this girl named Felon and she originally is a princess but then one thing leads to another and she's being sold as a slave and then Finally, she ends up in the school where female gladiators are being trained. So, The Defiant is the second book that I bought. The third book I bought is Restore Me by Tara Murphy, the fourth book to her Shadow Me series, which also just came out this year. I didn't plan on buying this, but then I discovered it in this used bookstore and I got it for only $10. And I don't know why it counts as a used book, because it basically is brand new. It didn't look like anyone had ever read it before that. But well, I was happy and I just couldn't resist buying it. 
Book number four is one that I had never heard of before and it is Zero Repeat Forever by G.S. Prendergast. This, I think, is the Back to the Roots YA dystopian novel about a girl who is in summer camp when suddenly some, I don't know if they're aliens, I just, I'll just call them aliens now because I haven't read the book yet. Uh, well, they, they land in the camp and, well, naturally they're the enemies of the humans, but she then teams up with one of these enemies. Well, I haven't read this yet, but, but it sounded kind of interesting and it will be cool to read some of these old school dystopians again. Also, the cover is really cool and the spine. I first saw the spine in the bookstore and it was like, what's that? That looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, and then I bought it. <laughs> the next book I bought is also one that I got from the used bookstore and it is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. This is a YA science fiction novel about a girl named Noemi and she's a soldier from the planet of Genesis which humanity has inhabited in this book. Yeah, she's the female main character and the male main character is called Abel and he is not entirely human. He's this sort of super advanced machine and he was developed as an experiment and then got left behind on a spaceship that got left in space. And on one of her missions, know Amy encounters him and of course she's afraid of him because he was being made on earth and earth is Genesis enemy but then they embark on a mission together and they get to know each other and this book is pretty much about what it really means to be human and what it's like to have a soul so it deals with some pretty cool questions and also another thing that I have to show you is that I recently got into book defacing because I've seen some videos on that and it was so beautiful the art was so beautiful and I was like I also want to do it. So I went and bought some acrylic paints and this was the first book that I actually defaced and since it's set in space I immediately decided to paint a galaxy on it. So I did this. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. That's the first time ever I painted on a book and I was like, you're painting on a book? Like this is the sacred thing and you're painting on it. But to be honest, I'm so glad I did it because it looks so cool and now I really have it personalized and this will certainly not be the last book that I'm gonna deface. So, well, anyway, Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray is the fifth book that I bought. Book number six, some kind of YA post-apocalyptic fantasy novel and it's Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster. I uh, don't really know what this is about, but I think it's really a fantasy novel, but it's set in some kind of post-apocalyptic world, which sounds great because those are two of my favorite genres and also I like the cover! Yay! So, book number six. And now finally, and this was really the best thing ever, I found two signed books. And this was like, I couldn't believe it. I was browsing the shelves and then was pulling one of the books out and then on the cover it had this little sticker which said signed copy and I was like, no. And I opened it and there was the autograph of the author and I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't even believe this was real because I had never even held a signed book in my hands and also here in Germany it's practically impossible to acquire a signed book by an American or Australian or whatever author. But guys, I actually started crying because I just couldn't believe this was happening to me. And the book I'm talking about, guys, my first signed book ever is Fares by Marissa Mayer who also happens to be one of the authors that I like really much. And actually I was reading Winter, the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles, when I found this. And I I totally didn't have this book on my uh, to read shelf on Goodreads because I wasn't sure about whether I wanted to read it or not. But then it was a signed copy and I was like, okay, it's mine. The decision was made for me. And here is Marissa Maya's signature and this book. I haven't read it yet, but it's already dear to my heart. For those of you who don't know, that's the companion novel to her Luna Chronicle series and it's the story of the evil queen Levana. And actually I saved the best book for last because it's a signed copy by my favorite author and it is Walker's by none other than Marie Lu. When I discovered this book, I was so awestruck because, yeah, well, she's my favorite author. Look at it, oh, look at it. Okay, <laughs> and actually I already had this book at home. I had already bought and read it, but as soon as I saw this, it just didn't matter and I knew that I had to buy it even though I already knew the book because the one I had at home was a paperback and this one is a hardcover and I mean come on it's signed, okay? And yeah, this is a YA science fiction novel that came out last year. I'm actually waiting for the sequel which gets published I think in October this year and it's about this virtual reality game called Warcross and this girl Emika Chen who is a hacker and who accidentally hacks into the opening match of the Warcross championships and then becomes a sensation and that's where the story starts from. So yeah. So all in all I quite 
acquired these eight books and I'm really really happy. I would have found even more books but they didn't fit into our suitcase so I had to stop somewhere. But I think it was still a pretty great book haul. I came home and I unpacked my books and it was like oh all my babies and then I went to find a spot for them on my shelves which took hours. You guys know how it goes. So yeah that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did then please leave me a like or a comment. I certainly enjoyed filming again and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!